What's up, everybody? Welcome into another episode of The Three Show. I'm your host, Brandon Hofstra. We have some player advancement to the next level. We'll take a look at the marquee matchups for this weekend and a look at the divisional standings as a lot of spots are filling up for the 2024 Frazier Cup playoffs. Let's get into it. In the Central Division, the Wausau Cyclones lead at first place with 59 points. They are 29-9-0-1 so far this season. They lost the last two, but they are 7-3 in their last 10 games played. At second place, the West Bend Power, who also have 59 points on the year, 28-9-1-2 on the season. They've won their last four games, also 7-3-0-0. The Oregon Tradesmen sit at third place, 51 points on the season, 25-13-1-0. They are also on a seven-game win streak right now, going 9-1 in their past 10 games. In the final spot is the Wisconsin Woodsmen. They have a 2015-1-2 record with 43 points and 6-4 in their last 10 games. Over on the East, we have two more teams that have clinched. It's so far the Northeast Generals at first place, holding a record of 32-5-0-1 with 65 points. The Norwich Sea Captains have clinched a spot as well, 21-15-1-1 with 44 points, 5-4 in their last 10 games played. And the New Jersey Titans taking that third spot right now, who are 2016-1-2. 43 points, won their last two games, 6-3, 0-1 on the season. New Hampshire has not clinched just yet, as they currently hold a 16-15, 3-1 record with 36 points. Behind them, Long Beach with 20, and Danbury at 6 with 17. Over in the Frontier Division, we've had two teams clinch as well, with the Helena Bighorns, who sit at first place, 36-2 on the season, 72 points. They've won 24 straight games. The Gillette Wild come in at second place, also clinching 34 4-0-1 4-0-1 with 69 points on the season. They've won their last four games, going 8-2 in their past 10. The Bozeman Ice Dogs have not yet clinched a spot at third, but they sit there right now, 24-14-0-1, 49 points, won their last two games. And the Great Falls Americans at fourth place right now in the conference, 18-18-0-1 with 37 points. In the South Division, no team has clinched a spot for the 2024 Frazier Cup playoffs just yet. The New Mexico Ice Whiffs, though, sit at first place with 63 points, a record of 31-6-1-0. They've won 11 straight games. El Paso Rhinos at second, 25-11-1-1, 52 points, won their last game. They are 6-3-0-1 in their past 10 so far. The Texas Roadrunners sit at third place, 23-10-4-1 with 51 points. And at fourth is the Texas Brahmas, 23-12-1-2. But right behind them, is the Louisiana Drillers at fifth place who have not been counted out of contention yet for the postseason. They currently have a a record of 22-14-0-1. In the West Division, we've seen three teams clinch a spot in the playoffs. The Rochester Grizzlies, who sit at first right now with 65 points, 31-5-1-2 record. They are 8-1-0-1 in their past 10 games. The Granite City Lumberjacks have clinched as well at second place, 28-8-0-2, 58 points, won their last two, their 7-3 in their past 10 games. And the Alexandria Blizzard have clinched the third spot, 25-10, 1-1, 52 points, 5-5 five five in their past 10. And a little bit of a skid right now, lost their last three games. Mason City holds the fourth place spot, but has not clinched just yet, 18-19, 2-0 on the season with 39 points. We'll go over to some player news out of the NA3HL. Texas Roadrunners netminder Chris Jacobowski got the call up to the NAHL with the Odessa Jackalopes. Chris holds a 2.35 goals against average and a .935 save percentage this season with a record of 12-6-3-1 on the year. Congrats to him. Cameron Kohlberg announced his commitment to play ACHA Division I hockey at the University of Oklahoma. The future Sooner has played in 114 career games over four seasons with the Brahmas. This year, the Massachusetts native has played in 14 games where he's scored 14 goals and 13 assists for 27 points. Let's take a look at some marquee matchups around the 3HL this weekend. In the East, the third-ranked Titans will face off against the fourth-ranked Junior Mountain Kings. In the South, it's a battle to stay in playoff picture with the fourth-spot Brahmas heading to the fifth-ranked Louisiana Drillers for a three-game series. In the West, a battle of heavyweights as the second-place Lumberjacks will face off against the first-place Rochester Grizzlies. And we'll have an out-of-division matchup between the Alexandria Blizzard and Oregon Tradesmen. And in the frontier, the Great Falls Americans will head to Gillette to face off against the Wild. Another quick note before we end today's episode. Applications for the 2024-25 Kim Cannon Internship are open. Head over to NAHL.com and click the Kim Cannon Intern button where you'll find all the information and where to apply. Good luck.
Don't forget you can watch all the action all season long exclusively on NAHL TV, your home for everything that is the North American Hockey League. And stay up to date with our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube as well. Until next time, it's been The Three Show. I'm Brandon Austin.